the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, former flyweight world title challenger, Henry Cejudo. He's featured a boxing heavy attack in the UFC. Outstanding hand speed. This is a technical, clean fighter, Joe, with really a cerebral approach to the MMA game. This guy has an incredible ability to control fighters. It's extremely frustrating for the man on the bottom, but once he gets the fight to the ground, oftentimes that is where the fight will remain. So here he is, the two-time Combat Sambo world champion, lightweight contender, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Undefeated for the mixed martial arts career, he has been dominant every step of the way. Joe, the Eagle trains out of the famed American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 29. Cejudo is 30. Nurmagomedov is six inches taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Afghanistan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomedov! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Saludo gets the early takedown. Take the back. In full guard here. Full postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by the ever improved Henry Cejudo. Slips to half guard there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, he 
gets reversed. Now he's back into full guard. He's now back to half guard. He's posturing up here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Back to full guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Big body punch. Just over three minutes to go. In the side control, nicely done. Excellent movement here on the ground. Big punch from the bottom. Under three minutes to go in round one. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Now he's moved back into full guard. He postures into place. Shot clip with the right hand. Nice. Oh, again. And a hammer fist. Back to half guard now. Slides him over and nice reversal here. Look at this reversal. Nice punch there by the ever improved Henry Sue. Excellent posture here. Versus position. Very nice sweep lines up at his opponent's guard. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. He's got him down. Elbow to the body there by Nermago Metal. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Sahuda. Nice punch to the body. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good control, postures up. Seconds winding down in the opening round. And he's back in the guard. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. All right, hey, hey, listen. He took you down because you're standing still. You gotta move, okay? Listen, don't stand right in front. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, Lance, perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. You can really see how awesome that round was by these highlights. Brittany Palmer in the building.
taking body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Tagged him. Lands the inside leg kick. Taken down now by Nermago Meta. Big punch. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Look at that transition. Hammer fist. Postures up. He's working from half guard now. He's got to move. He's in the Mount of Crucifix now. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Into half guard again. Excellent posture. Full guard here. Back to half guard. And moves to north-south. Looking for the north-south choke. He's got that north-south choke tight. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the choke. Oh and my God! He'll do it! Use excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so... He took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle. Well, it's becoming a pretty common visual inside that octagon as Khabib Nurmagomedov gets his hand raised yet again here tonight. And when the injuries and the weight cutting issues aren't part of the narrative and we just focus on the combat and this guy's skills, he looks the part of the best lightweight in the world. A lot of people believe that eventually you are looking at a UFC lightweight champion, if 